In this task, I'll explore the coordinate systems of the lab data. Currently, I have QGIS browser open and I've navigated to the Lab1 data folder. To learn what coordinate reference system a data set is in, I simply select it and look at the metadata tab. For example, if I want to explore ST48 underscore D00, I'll select it. The metadata tab is activated. And down below, under layer spatial reference system, I can see that the projection is latitude and longitude, datum WGS84. So this is in the geographic coordinate system using WGS84. Let's look at the Texas DEM ERDAS image. Go to the metadata tab. Down at the bottom under layer spatial reference system, this looks quite a bit more complicated. The format of this description is known as well-known text. Here, projection equals LCC. LCC stands for Lambert Conformal Conic. Lat underscore 1 is the latitude of the first standard parallel. Lat underscore 2 is the latitude of the second standard parallel. Lat 0 is the latitude of origin. And long 0 is the central meridian. It also has values for false eastings and northings, along with the ellipsoid. Now I'll bring up QGIS Desktop, and I'm going to add the BTS Airports layer. So I'm going to use the Add Vector Layer button, browse to my lab data, select the Airports shapefile, click Open. To examine the coordinate system of this layer, I'll simply double-click on it to open up the Layer Properties, and on the General tab, I'll see the coordinate reference system. So this is an EPSG code 4269, which is a geographic coordinate system using the NAT83 datum. If I want this layer to be in a different coordinate system, it's quite simple. I'm going to close the layer properties. To reproject this layer, I would simply right click on it and choose Save As. This is just the normal way that you would export a data layer. I can also reproject a data layer as I export it. So I'm going to choose Esri Shape File. I'm going to browse for the output location. I'm going to call this BTS Airports. I'll just add a UTM for the output because I'm going to reproject this into a UTM coordinate system. Next, I'll click the Browse button next to CRS to choose the coordinate system. And then to the filter, I'm going to type UTM Zone 14. I'll scroll up, and you can see that there's quite a few different projection definitions for UTM 14, each using a different datum. I'm going to choose this one that uses NAT83, has EPSG code 26914. Click OK. Now it's going to project it into that. Click OK. Now I have a new version of this layer, and when I open up the layer properties for that, I can see this new version of the airports is in UTM Zone 14 NAT83. In the next task, we'll review GIS attribute tables.